Hey, this is Guillermo Fair, class of 2016, coming to you all the way from Stymac, Manitoba. And this is your R360 News. It's true. Boom. Hawks Nation, and welcome to the R360 News. I'm your host, Sophia Fair. And I am Emily McGuffin. Welcome to Special Guest Friday. On the R360 News today, I have brought along with me our long-lost friend, Emily McGuffin. Thanks for having me, Sophia. It's great to be back. Can you tell us what you and your family have been up to since you moved out of Rosenworth? We moved, we live in Windsor, Ontario, and my sister Naomi is married. And now we and now time for the news. In our lunch report, we have cheeseburgers with chips on the menu for today. Monday in the Hawks Nest Cafe will be egg muffins with fruit and yogurt. A reminder that candy canes are still being hidden on a daily basis. We are glad to have hidden them so well, but we would love to see more being found daily. Yesterday only two were found on Wednesday only four. Keep looking and come find Miss Lowen to trade in your paper in for a real candy cane. On Mondays, Mrs. Brown is the one you should see for your candy. In our school hockey pool up day, it's a fast and furious night for the grade 7 slow and curious picking up a whooping 14 points. Lots of points to the grade 11s, 1, 2B Smarties, 5, 6A, chicken wings as well. It's time for the second day of Red Hot Christmas, Mr. K spin the wheel. Let's see which class will open a present today. All right, so we're going to spin the wheel and whatever it lands on, you're going to get to send a student down. So for today, the class that opens a present will be 3, 4, A. So Miss Hildebrand, please pick a student, send them down to the studio, and they can open one of the presents. While we are waiting for the students, it's time for the Friday Green Win. Remember back in spring of 2021 when Andy and Noah asked the Red Hawks to accept the Bucket Ice Challenge? Well, let's throw it back to the first round of people who accepted this challenge. Hello, Red Hawks Nation. This is Hudson. And Felix. And Mr. K. Hello, Red Hawks Nation. I was nominated by Andy for the Ice Bucket Challenge. Hello, my name is Titan Johnson, and I am doing the Ice Bucket Challenge. This is the Red Hawks 360 Ice Bucket Challenge. I am nominating Gabe, Bryce, and Zach. I'm nominating Sam, Cash, and Colton. I nominate Ms. Sands, Brandon Friesen, grade 6 class, and Ms. Sabrin. And I ch challenge Becky. And I'm going divisional for my challenges. I'm challenging Michaela Weeb at Morris School, Mr. Legault at Starbuck, as well as his two kids, Livia and Luke. And I'm also going provincial. And I'm challenging Gavin and Indy in Winnipeg. Come pick one of these presents and open it up and tell us what's inside. So welcome to the 3-4 class, Caden. Just rip it open, just like on okay. Christmas morning. Don't be gentle. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's see. Do you need a scissor? Yeah. Okay, I'll come help you. <laughs> Here, I'll take it. All right, tell us what it is, Kaden. There are Got wrapping paper. So there's some wrapping paper. Oh my goodness. 
there is a um Jet Jersey. A Winnipeg Jets yeah. jersey. That is amazing. We want to say a huge thank you and to the it. Rosenar Co-op, Winkler Co-op, for donating this Winnipeg Jets jersey. That is awesome. Okay, congratulations, Kaden. Your teacher gets to decide. Oh, and you're wearing a Jets yeah. like, zip up as well. That's awesome. So Mrs. H can decide how you are going to give away that jersey in your classroom. Okay. Thanks, Kaden. Thanks for coming to the news. All right. The R360 News would be like to send out a happy birthday wishes to our outdoor community for today. Did you know that after working as a volunteer in our flexball teaching outdoor ed, a role he was born to play, Eddie has since been accepted to the facility of education at U of M. That's right. Eddie is currently a student teacher at Vincent Massey in Winnipeg and I know from experience that Eddie is going to be the most amazing teacher ever. Could outdoor ed be coming to a school near you? Only time will tell. Happy birthday, Eddie. These are all your announcements for today. So, and for this week, make sure to come back on Monday for the third day of Red Clock Christmas.